we're going to show how to use Plasmic as a visual builder for graph CMS data. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by going to the insert menu, going to a component store, and looking for a graph CMS. When I insert that, I'm prompted to configure the settings for the first time. So from here, I can choose which graph CMS instance I want to pull from. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use the default, which is a demo of um, containing some blog posts and whatnot. So now I can go ahead and actually insert graph CMS data. From the right, I can configure what query to use. And since it's just GraphQL, I can use the standard tools at our disposal. So I can visually pick, for instance, that I want to show the list of blog posts. And for each one, the title, the uh, content as text, and the cover image. And for images to work in Plasmic, we need the MIME type and the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now we see that we're showing a grid of all four blog posts from the CMS. And for each one, we're showing this field, which we can configure from the right-hand side again, and select, uh, for instance, I want to show the titles. So now we see a grid of all the blog post titles. And I'm going to duplicate this field. For the second field, I'm going to show, for instance, the cover image. So now we have a set of all the titles and images to go along with it. Uh, I can arrange this however I want in whatever layout I want. Um, so I'm going to drag the image to the top, add a bit of spacing, and set the topography on the text itself to be a little bit larger, um, semi-bold, centered, uh, so on and so forth. So you have full design control over this stuff. Um, let's say I want the whole thing, this whole grid, to actually be two columns instead of four. Maybe I'll constrain the width a little bit, uh, the max width. On mobile, I'm noticing it's feeling a little cramped, so I can use Plasmic's built-in styling, responsive styling capabilities to, for instance, override this to be one column on mobile. And that's really about it. That's all it takes to build a very simple responsive page that's hooked up to your real GraphCMS data. And from here, you can go ahead and integrate this uh, to your code base. Um, this just needs to happen one time. And then from that point on, uh, anyone who wants to update the page can just go ahead and make their changes in Plasmic, like editing a document, and hit Publish. And all the data that you see here is efficiently fetched at pre-render time, so it supports static builds and server-side rendering.